Parsha today. Please, please said everything in English. this week's bar portion. That's Wait, where, which page? Three seventy-five. The beginning. Three seventy-five. It's in the back. I used the last page. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. And Hainti Kesedra in this week's Sedra, this week's Parsha, Retzach of Agen Zaysa, Behema Shateh, where talks about, so the Pasuk says, that this is the Behema which you should eat. Behema Stadis, which means the kosher, the Torah, the uh, pure animals. And it talks about animals which you should not eat, behemoth tmeis, referring to the impure animals, the not kosher animals. And the Torah gives us two signs telling us which behemoths, which animals you're allowed to eat. One of them is chewing its cud, and the second that's called my legato. Another one of my fresh's parts that its hooves should be totally split. In the Siman of Fontaida, I have France face to the signs of Taita, the, the, this that Taita gives signs for something, there's two types of signs that Taita gives. Aleph, Gerimim, Azalcha, the causes. The first type is going to say that Taita, is, is it the cause or it's just a sign? That's the question. Which means, why did Taita, could we say that this is the reason why Taita said that we shouldn't eat this animal because it has these two characteristics? That's called a sign which is really the cause for making a kosher and not kosher. It's a cause. That's the first thing he's going to say. Aleph, Gerimim, number one, Gerimim, a cause. Azelcha Simanim, the signs, was a zayin in a time of sibe after It's a reason, it's a reason for the thing, if it should be kosher or not. Or benidin and dan in our case, durchtem was the behemah as maila gedem of resaparsa. In our case, because it's chewing its cud and it splits wolves. Is the is is the abhemateda. That was that's what makes it a kosher animal because it has these signs, that's what makes it kosher. That's the cause for it. Bayz Mavdil, the second type of signs which we have in Taira, is that it's not it's not the cause for for to make it kosher or not kosher. Just to how do we know if it's kosher or not? That's through the signs. But what makes it kosher or not kosher is something else. But this is just the way we could tell and we could detect if this is a kosher animal or not kosher. And what is that? So, we're, we're basically trying, we're, there's, a dis, there's a dispute if these, thank you very much, there's a dispute if, if these signs, are they the cause for making a kosher or not kosher? Or they're just a sign to help us discover if it's kosher or not kosher. But is that important for us? Oh, so why is, it, why is that important for us? To, yeah. It's different to know, to know yeah. what, what's the reason for that? Yeah. So really, this is this sikh is not really that's not what it's going to discuss. But in a different sikh, the Rebbe talks about it based on the, the, the Ragged Shaver. He says because let's say I have another way of knowing that it's kosher. So if if I say that I need I need the, the I, I, the signs is what makes it kosher or not kosher. It doesn't have a sign. I don't care that you know that it was. Let's say you saw that this was born from a kosher animal. You saw it came from it. You were there when it was born, but it doesn't have the signs. So if you say that you need, that this is what makes it kosher, that has the signs, so if it doesn't have it, it's not kosher. But if I say it's only there in order for us to be able to tell if it's, if it's kosher or not, I know from a different way. I was there when it was born. It came from a kosher animal. But the sign that takes precedence of it. The sign is more important. Yeah, well, and so that that's case, what it would depend on this. That, in that yeah, the case, the sign takes take precedence over the kosher animal giving birth to it and not having so that's, that it would be depend on this. It would depend on this question. And the answer is? It's the same. It depends. Depends on what it is. I think. Don't we hold that it's um, kosher by itself because if there's a fish that the scales come off when you pull it out of the water. I think it's called the smell. Right, but inside the water it has the. So outside, so if you saw it outside, how would you know if it was if, if it needed the sign as an identifier? Then you would say it's not kosher. But if you know that this species is your kosher in the water, and now you're seeing it out of the water and it doesn't have its on in, so I should have then it would be kosher, right? Yeah, but that in the water it has it actually. In the water, in the water you, you're now seeing it out. It, it's all, but, it's but, a swordfish. But, but, it's a but it really, but it really it has it. It really has steps. it. When it was born, it had it. Afterwards, it went away. So for you, a different proof for a camel or a pig that has one of the simon in, is not kosher. So we're saying that the two, the two simonim themselves don't make it unkosher. Don't make it Yeah, but they only have one. They don't have both. I'm, I'm saying, so, so you see that simonim themselves 
don't determine consciousness. Yeah, but they, because they only have one, they don't have both. See, how can you see a raya? But I'm saying, but I'm saying, even with only that. one, they're not kosher. So therefore, they don't need two simonim uh -huh. to show you that it's not kosher. Uh -huh. You're a kosher animal. Forget about a fish. But it's not a head. Birth to an animal. One simon only, is a head. only one simon comes out. So you, that's what you would think. If, it, if it's going according to simonim, it would be head kosher. Uh, no, I it's not something head kosher. I, kosher. We have a cloud. How I got some in a tar tar. So maybe the example you gave illustrates it good, but maybe la halacha it wouldn't be. You know what I mean? Be la halacha. This is what discusses. Call it yitzur tar tar. This is the right. Yeah. Like if a cow gave birth is, to a little pig, yeah. it would be kosher. This, this is all kashan. This, this is a different sikha. This is kashan is at the point of this sikha. It's, these it's are great questions. They're great questions. Okay. Is that, it's but, yeah, yeah, these are very good questions. Could look like a pig. This is something. This is something. Right, right. Maybe, maybe another time we could do the sikha and yeah. shmini. Very, very. Because uh, the shmini it talks about the simanim also. So there, they have yeah. elaborates about this discussion. Okay. okay. Um, well, not in the, the semen itself showing or something. Now, why why are certain foods kosher? Why why did Hashem say this is only kosher and this is straight? Right. Why why did Hashem pick these particular right. items to say? This so do we say it's exactly the cross? Why is the the creator, divine creator? Is there a reason why Hashem huh? picked these? Why did he as uh, why, why the whole other motion? He could have picked other things. Other motion right. had the whole world to eat. The whole world. Yeah, yeah. Except one tree. Yeah. What? What's, what's the one? What's the one? Uh, that was tree of knowledge. Tree of knowledge. Oh, the tree he of could knowledge. eat the whole world. Right. But the There's tree nothing of stopping him. There's all he said. The just one tree, tree don't eat. Yes, I send the question. Well, it depends on this. It depends only, on this. But the question but, depends on this. Yeah. Do we say that it, that that these characteristics that it has, that's the reason why it's not kosher? So we're saying a reason. What we're saying is it's a divine decree that we don't understand. And Hashem picked it. Hashem picked and, and Hashem just made signs that we should be able to tell what so we, He decided. So we should understand what that was uh, a we sign should, for us. We should, that we should know if it's kosher or not. We should know because Hashem chose this. Right. But besides, it's just a divine decree. Is what like for us to know, He made these right. signs. Yeah. Otherwise... So uh, it depended on this, yeah. Why are you making such a way that we have to eat them in order to survive? Oh, so also, that's what we want to discuss over here. We, we, it's Kedusha. It's holiness. It's holy. It grass, when you're, it when you're eating the kosher food, it's, you it goes into the 613 you vessels elevate, you of, elevate, your, of your body. You elevate it. Right, you're elevating your body. So here will you're elevating your, your goof. So, here will so if you can't eat the tray, right. if you eat the, the tray, tray. You're, you're done. It's over. No, the, the tray will take you down. <laughs> you have to eat yeah, the kosher. Yeah. The tray will take you down. Right? The, the kosher will pick you, you, elevate you up. You elevate, right. elevate. You elevate it. Correct. This is the, now we'll go into the simonim. What's the simonim? It's just a sign, or...? It's deeper, it's deeper. Deeper. Okay. Alright, so the second way we said is that it's just in order to, to be able to let us know, to be able to find out if it's kosher or not. Yeah. So that's number two, base, mavdilim. These are different differentiators, which help us differentiate. Azalcha saman in these signs was zizayin nitkin tama sibeif tazach. Not the reason for it, these signs. Zizayin in mer nitvi mevader di tara vehepech atara vases faran in der zach mitzadatsmen. Only what they tell us if it's kosher or not kosher, which the thing itself, which is not related to the signs. Sorry, this vetin is better durch the simanim. Only we figure it out through the signs. Okay, now, Pnimis HaTayda, the inner parts of Tayda, Tayda Tayda is Chsidus, which explains this, the way it's explained in Chsidus. Farbinta Mashem et Nimshel. Whenever Chsidus brings a, a parable, brings a mashal, it, you, it always, it, it, so, so it says that there's a connection between the parable and the, and the moral, which is learned out from it. There's a connection between them. Which means you could think that that, that Hagander Masha is a friend of Zach, the parable is, is something different than the idea which you're trying to transmit. It's something else. You're taking something from a different, uh, from, you know, uh, a, a different thing, a different, a different a story from a story, to bring an example. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with, with, with the actual idea. It's just, it's just an example. Mm -hmm. So, at as many as we have, it's only a parable, but it's not actually connected to the idea itself. And that's why I can forbid me to nimshal. It says everything is divine providence. And since this example brings out this idea, there is a connection between the two. 
But um, as Nedokin Sufa Mikra Stamen Val, nothing is by coincidence in the world. That's why I said as a Mashal Sum Nimshal Val and Emtsuk for him, it's because he comes from him. The Indian was a Nimshal when I come to Rapp and he did a Kreel and write as Mashal. Like we, uh, on, on Shabbos morning, we said that, let's say, uh, everything physical has a spiritual source. And it's like a chain, which means one chain fits into the other one, goes lower and lower and lower. So in our world, an example for that would be, a person uh, has, is a sweet person. Then you could go, that's, then you could go even lower, and you could say, you could say it, uh, there's a sweet song. Then you can go lower and you can say it's a sweet, uh, food. sweet food, fruits or something. So they're all the idea is sweet, but it's the way it goes down to a lower, more physical level. It goes from spiritual down to a more physical level. So the fact that they're all sweet, they all have a connection, even though the sweetness are very different. But isn't a, even a piece of wood has Kedusha too? Every piece, everything, everything in the world, kedusha. everything in the world so, has a source above. Sparks, sparks of spark and has a source above. Right. And comes from spirituality. So, so too also, when we bring an example in Chassidus, so from a physical example to explain something in a spiritual idea, it's not just because we're just, that we're, we're just using some example, but it really has no connection between each other. And that example is the same concept, the way it came down in the lower world, like the chain. It's all connected. It's all connected. Right. There's, this, there's a famous thing, Ramban, I'm not sure, but it says everything that you, you see in, 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 the Torah. in the Torah is... Is this reflection of what the counterpart is above? The sure, famous. sure, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. This is a reflection of Shemayim, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. 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 We, have, we have to see it. We don't well, see I, it. We have to have a Zerchus. Uh, I mean, see it. Not everyone can see it. You so, have to be, uh, you know, to earn it, I guess. Earn that privilege. Okay, so basically... Maybe you can see it certain times. You, yeah, you can learn about it. You can this. You can look and look and you'll explain us the source of many things. Right, right. The, so what he wants to say is that whichever way you're going to say that if that these two signs, whether we're saying that they're explaining, they're, they're, they're really the cause for the, making a kosher or not, that's one way, saying it's the cause, which then it's obvious that they're connected, that the signs are connected to the, to the animal being kosher or not kosher. That's obvious because that's the cause for it. But even if you want to say that these are just signs to help us understand better why, uh, um, if, why if, it's it's if, if it's kosher or not, right? It's just to help us. The fact that these are the signs and not, not other signs, that these are the signs which God made that these should show us to, to, to help us to find out if it's kosher or not, there's obviously it's not just a, a happening, a coincidence that happened that you just happened to put them both together. There's obviously a, a strong, very strong connection between the two, which is to the idea of kosher and not kosher, and is, and, and has, is very connected to these, uh, these two signs. Lay them, haven't bade this sugim in the zachalin. According to this, both types of signs have a connection to the thing itself. Feel this samanam as I nitki in tamasi, but even the signs which we would say are not the re cause and the reason for it, making a kosher or not. They're there only to help us discover if it's kosher or not. They also are connected to the thing itself. It's not by coincidence that, uh, that that's its sign. It's the, uh, the idea of kosher and not kosher. The way it comes down on a more physical level is these signs. It, comes, it, it invests itself in these signs. But it's the same idea. Just like we said, the chain, the way the spiritual comes down on a lower level. This, so this is the way it plays itself out on a lower level is these signs. The idea of kosher and not kosher. Kosher and not kosher could be it's a more spiritual thing. is the cause for making a kosher and not kosher. But these signs are the way it lowers itself and invests itself in a lower level. So these signs are definitely, the point is these two signs of chewing the cut and having split feet are definitely um, are connected very much to kosher and not kosher. The male is fashtan because I understood that these face the man from my legate and my fresh parts these two signs of chewing the cut and splitting the so hooves is what is in is in what's what a sucks the man is only around again how to sit down and say that the hammer should take what has to do with kosher and not kosher. Okay. Based. He's first going to discuss what's the idea of eating. What is this idea of eating? 
what, what are we doing? Which means obviously we're we're hungry and we're eating, right? But there's something deeper behind it. What's what's the, what's the deeper meaning? As is as menemta chai, we take a living animal, a living being, a atzemeh, or from vegetation, other demim or inanimate. When we eat it, it becomes part of our flesh and blood. It becomes part of us. Which means there's four types in the world. The, the, the four categories, the world is divided into four categories. Daimim is inanimate, Tzemech is veget vegetation, and then you have Chai is, is, is the living, the animal kingdom, and then you have Medaber is the is the people the persons people who speak people. So what happens when a person eats? He takes the the, the three lower levels and the one's higher than the other, because what makes something higher, which means you have more energy, you are more connected to Hashem. Hashem is the idea of energy. So the person has has is has 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 a mind. He has spiritual. He has a very spiritual side to me, a mind and emotions. The animal also has energy. He's a living thing. And then you have vegetation, they can't run around everything, they're stuck in one place. But they still are growing, they grow, they have some sort of energy. And then you have the inanimate thing which seemingly doesn't have any energy. So what we're doing is we're lifting up the three lower categories and we're making them part of, when we make them part of our flesh and blood, they're, becoming, they're lifting up and becoming higher, part of a medab or part of something higher than them, part of the person, the person which is the highest category. Each one of, has, each one of those has properties of the other. Right. Oh, that's what we're going to get to. Very right? good. Yeah. Was, was a, like a mountain has a part of its vegetation because it, it's grown to, to right. the mountain. Right? So that was... Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Domem is not... Yeah, we're going to get to that. Very yeah. good. Very good. Very, very good. Actually, uh, in a few more paragraphs, we're going to get to be, that. It's not going to be better than... Right? At one point, you elevate. And after 120, go back to... Yeah. 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 So we have to eat diamond right. as a stump. Right. How do we eat stump? Uh, no, I'm saying how diamond. Do we have so how, how, the tree, how the tree grow? No, a tree is Samaya. No, so how do you go? What is it? What does it go from? What? It go from where? The earth. The earth. What is the earth? Diamond. No, so you have diamond. Yeah. Give Chalice to the tree. Chalice give it. The tree no, but I'm you. saying, Mamish, to eat diamond, I don't know. We eat Sameyach and we eat Chai. We, we, we are Medabra. We eat the muscles. Clay. Clay. Clay can be a special clay. So, so, oh, oh, okay. You see, that's an answer. Wa okay. Water. <laughs> okay, that's an yeah. answer. Okay. What I didn't think of it. No, he says water and know. salt is grow. diamond and we eat it. All the time, right? It's diamond, and we eat it. It's not chai, it's not semeya, and we eat it. Okay. That, that's the answer. I, I didn't think of it. Okay. Yashchai. He says that like this. So, was durf dem firtes taxim dem? That's the purpose. Through that, it reaches its purpose. The Sorry. inanimate semeyach, the, the and the semeyach, the vegetation, the yeah, chai, and the animal. As the right nichol and the becomes part of the medaber, becomes part of uh, of, of the person. In the Adam's and in Gufa's and Nick Faran and Yanim, Boston Zay is a glass of Damus and Mechai. This is what you're saying that, that in the person also there's things which is similar to to, to Damus and Mechai. I don't know if the Gemara is like with Shlesh and Nidmak of Behema. An Alachis, which are a person similar to on a Zayn Faran and Yanim, Boston Zay is an upcatel from Damus and Mechai, and Zay is an Adam and a Minamadab. A person has inside of him different things which are similar to. To all three. So just like we said in the world, the three categories, their purpose is they should become part of the medaber of the per, uh, they become part of the person. So to the person himself, all these different parts of the person, they should all be used out for for in the, in the, for what the medaber for the person himself, the person, the part of the person which is the person. Also, also the person himself. This is the way that a person is similar to animals, similar to, to vegetables, they grow and different things, a part of the parts about it, and that's not the main advantage of a person, that's not the specialty of the person. So this whole thing really is under the umbrella of Tikkun Olam. Tikkun Olam, man. Yeah. The, the whole... Yeah. Sure, that's, that's the idea. Elevating, 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 yeah. 
The tachlis is 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 that inyan have a daber vasinim. The tachlis from zayin ibedik inyan and the idem to make chay vasinim is as eich zayin zol and zayin later minim from a daber vasinim. From them zol and zayin nichla vadim. So he says, and as eich eich and the demon to make chay vachalos. And was there other not zayin and zayin vadim nichla nim as a tachlis from zayin as zayin zol and zayin nichla vadim nim the daber shabadim dafket. For them was there a mensch but but this eichnos and sukkah vas leiz zayin inyan have a shalom that everything a person eats. Should be used out for the for the for the person, the, for what the person is for. What's the person about? What's the real concept of a yid? Now we're going to say the next. Right? It's not just about a person that we're we're a mensch. It's something higher than that. Going meeting also. Right. Going meeting also. The purpose is. So you could is, say that they're going to do the mitzvah of mechaim and No. They should be a mensch the way they're supposed to be. And the and yidin are supposed to be says that yidin that emes inyan from Adam is Adam and Why is a why is a person called Adam? Because he's compared, Adam, Adam is Adam, and he's compared, it's another pshat, that he's compared to the above. He's compared to Hashem. Adam Elalim. Oh, yeah, that's the so Adam Elalim shall like in the Merkav, in the, it says by the Merkava, the Cheskel saw a prophecy, so he said he saw a person sitting on top of a chair. So it was referring to the way, the way, the way to Hashem. Referring to Hashem. Was er that Adam Elion shall like say is that Emma that's the real person, so to speak. That Emma that depiction is something. It's a dangerous depiction. Right. This is but this is what this is what the Navi says. We made the tzedakah. Isn't it Yaakov of Vino? Exodus. Exodus helps us explain. One second. Exodus helps explain to us. How could you say such a thing? How can you say exactly? Right. Which means one of the one of one of the reasons why it's very important to to learn Exodus. Is when if a person starts, it used to be some people they wouldn't think too much. You say, okay, it says certain things. It says that 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 the Eibushter is uh, Eibush has as his fittest as ten fittest. Eibush has to compare to a person, everything. And also the Eibushter is doesn't have any form, doesn't have any picture, or anything. And they were, they they didn't think too much, and they were they accepted both as they they it didn't bother them. Problem is when the person starts trying to put them together, so it doesn't make sense. Right. How does it go together? So that's one of the things which Siddhas helps us, and one, one of the things which the SS Fiddish, which the, which the Kabbalah explains, is, is that it, obviously Hashem is not, is not a person. Hashem is beyond any form and Chas Hashem. You're not allowed to look at the late East and call Tumunah. We didn't see any picture because Hashem doesn't have any form. Only what? The way Hashem relates to the world, the way He relates to this world. It. Ah, so he goes through the he uses he uses the ten svidas, <coughs> his ten different attributes in order to relate and create the world through them. Not that he himself is is the ten attributes, but he works through these ten he attributes. He utilizes, utilizes them. To communicate. To to communicate to create because Hashem is infinite. Hashem is infinite, right? right? And even when he so so it's the way he invests himself to deal with the world. But even then, it's not that he changes to invest himself to go down deal with the world. He always remains beyond that. And that's that's a whole that's that's for another whole uh, discussion. Yeah. So when so we say when it says Adam, Adam refers to a person has it says in Pasuk a person has ten different right uh, the Chesed Reiyaminas. Right hand is the concept of Chesed. His left hand is the of of small is the of of Gvura. Powers. And the Chabad is the mind, the Chag, and then he has the Midas, uh, yeah, Midas uh, and Malchus, the but, path. But we need these, we need these to, to understand Hashem, because, right. wasn't it, if there's too much light, a person can't right, survive. That's right, right, Hashem wanted there should be a we world. We have to have the vessels. 100%. So, so that's why when we say Odom, so when the uh, is saying that he saw Hashem as a person on top of the, uh, obviously, Chas Hashem doesn't mean Hashem is limited as a person. I mean, that's the way Hashem deals with the world. So, but he's talking about the way Hashem, the way these ten attributes are above. They feel very connected to Hashem. They're very in touch with Hashem. They're very godly because they're God's utensils. They're very, they're very godly. They're very, very special. So, a person, like we said before, everything comes from above. So, the person is comes from like a chain. A chain comes comes from those ten attributes, and that's why we have in ourselves. The form of the body we are, even even before we go to that, in our soul, in our in our in our psyche, we have these ten things. 
we have our in our mind, we have the Chachma Bin Adas, we have intelligence, and we have emotions, and we have actions. These are all uh, um, coming down, Ishtashalas, a chain coming down on a lower level. And then it goes even further, it invests, it makes itself into a physical body. Our physical body is a reflection of God. So that's what it says. We could see from our own flesh, we could, we could, we could, we could understand godliness. We can stand higher levels which, which are much closer to God. So the purpose of us is that we should lift ourselves up and we should be like that real person, that person, which means the 10 attributes, the way, the way they feel so close to God, which means the person to try to lift themselves up to, to feel very close to God. So that's, so that's, what, that's, that's what it means, that the real person is, that, uh, is, so the, is the Adam Elian, is, the, is the, uh, the higher person. And that we're Adam and we're compared to him, and we have to bring that out, how we're similar. We have to show our connection to that. This term, Adam Elion, is that taken from a Goisha king? Oh, by Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar said, said about himself, yeah, yeah it's right. Nebuchadnezzar said about himself that he's, he's like Hashem. He, he himself is a god. So, but, but I think the, I think it's a Shalah. I don't remember, I don't remember what happened. I remember it's brought down in Shalah, it's brought in, in Hele Kisvarim, it's brought, that's the, we also use this as a... Use it. Yeah, he, he, that's why all the, all the animals rape them. It's the primius, <laughs> the primius of the Torah, the, 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 the inner, this is the inner explanation. There's a right. simple explanation, the way he says it. He said the most terrible thing, that he's like a god. Right. But the inner, inner explanation, sometimes could switch it around and be very, very positive. There's a clip of this in the Dushin. Yes. Paul says, I need yours. The source. The source. Yes. Yes. Fine. So he says, the Emes Inyan from Adam is a Damalal in Gimel. Adam is a Damalal in the true person is the way he's the higher person, Kaliyahu, so to speak. Sudam Adam Elian Shalakisa, the person, the higher person who's on the chair, on the throne. Was Ed, that Adam Elian Shalakisa, this person which is above, is that Emes and Adam is the real person, that Emes and Milo and Madabra, that's the real, that's the real level of a person. The Milo from the Madam and Tachtin is the Adam and Adam Elian. What is the advantage of a person, of a person that he's compared to above? An animal doesn't have that. If the person has that connection. When they're, and they're far, very to the from it to Nam and Adam, that's why it's called Adam. Next page, 377. And the... Uh, Right? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Isn't there a thing Salam Alakim that a, a, a person is at Salam Alakim, right? Is that a, that's a similar thing, I would say. No, a Yeah. Different levels, different, many different aspects to this. But yeah, also, Salam is also big. Abba Mabino, when he went to Akeda with his son Itzvah, so he called the two slaves. But they have many things, like I said. Like, so one place says that why, why it, I deal, let's say, a father and son. Since God is like uh, God is like the father, and the Jewish people like the son. There's a love between the father and son, between the Jewish people and God. That's why, by by Jewish people, the father and the son, they have a, they have a love to each other. And because that's the way it's by the, by the Jewish people, it came also to the non-Jews also, that they also got this concept of the father and son. They also have this, and they also have this love between each other. So it comes through ones. the Jewish people, it comes, the, the, the light comes to the rest of the people. It comes from other Mauritians. One of them did not have parents, so they did not, so they did not love their, uh, why is the expression is uh, a parent can, can uh, love and support my children, my children can't love and support one parent. Because other Mauritians didn't have any parents. So they only love their children. So that's how it was genetic. It, that's a mystery. That's what their children saw from other, how to give over to a child, not give over to a parent. That's not to do with being Jewish. Right. So that that is true physically. But the question is why was it set up that way in the first place? Which means everything, there's a, which means we could be a beginning. Right, but everything, we have physical and explanations, we have natural explanations for everything. But they didn't start from there. The explanation was created as a result of something deeper, something higher. It's true. And, uh, there's, there's, the, on a lower, uh, there's explanations on every different level. Pshat, Rem, Esdrus, Seid. Every single level is explanation. And one comes from the other one. And they're but all he, true, but on but their level. Yeah. 
Right. It didn't show itself in the Gamma Rishon, mm. but it came out. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Other other Mishnah also had it. it wasn't it wasn't such a pashta person. It wasn't such a simple person. The way if you look in Kabbalah, it explains what, what the other Mishnah was. Okay. Um, the Milas Adam is as on Nichlavad and the Madam Alien. The advantage of the person is that he should become included in the higher person. But then, but how does a person? How do we come connected to the to the higher person to to, to the tenth Svidus? Is is Eret Eisvin the Shliks of another Adam Alien? If a person is going to do the the mission which God gave us, so that's how we become like Him Himself. He declared on the Kriti Teira. It says on Kriti Teira. But then, as Mentot Shliks of another Adam Alien, Verkman Kameis. It says. That a person, the messenger of a person is just like the sender himself. He becomes like a sender. So when we do like what, the, what, what Hashem wants, so we become we become very connected, almost like we become included in Hashem. As thus is the scholars of and Adam becomes included in part of Hashem. As the Ferran and them say the Badraga, there is a level, there is an order and a level how this works. Free is thus and Idrikamadrega, the Nakhacher. These are pale from the scholars as a writing gats and nichla in the mother melee. And a person doesn't want shack to become part of Hashem. It's a slow process. There's a women hot kidet and my mirrors free the Aveda from Akhre Valley Kikhdele, who Akhre, Merit Vikhraim of our first. We're a little connected, we give ourselves over a little bit. Bees men come to some taches, ill be so welcome until we become totally connected with Hashem, our whole being. As a nit came shum at sees lats me, doesn't he's, that he's, he doesn't have any, his own agendas anymore, it's all what Hashem wants. And if I think that's in Dabak, please, if I think Zach, until he becomes connected to him, until he becomes like one thing with Hashem, he loses his whole existence to Hashem. Aderach Madregis Meshad Abeno, the highest person we have was Meshad Abeno. By Meshad Abeno, he reached this level. As Eric is act, Meshad Abeno says, Ben Asati Yasef, I'm going to give Asa, I'm going to give uh, grass. What do you mean? You're going to give, Hashem's going to give, you're going to give. Hashem oh, yeah. was speaking through him, which means he totally his, his, his he totally lost him his own his himself to Hashem. He was all included in Hashem. As given a ganzim bottle, he totally nullified Hashem. And as nit given kimitzis, he was an entity for himself. And Nach Nama, he said, "What are we?" He said, "Shchinim and daberes nepumen dileish." The divine presence spoke through his mouth. It was the words of the of the shchina. Omnipresent was speaking through his 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 mouth. So Hashem was, 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 was utilizing Moshe as a as a uh, handler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But isn't so. the concept also that that it really comes down through the the, the, the tzaddik? I mean, yeah, yeah. It's the concept. Why does it come through a tzaddik? Because the tzaddik loses himself. And he becomes a conduit for Hashem. Conduit, yeah. So it's it's just. So that means he wasn't conscious when words were coming out of his mouth. Sure he was. Good question. There, there, there's different levels. There's different times. It was on the 49th level, Moshe. There's, there's... Like what? In the end, of Kedush. Yeah. It's, it's a mage. What does that mean? I don't know. What there, is there, it depends. It is also, like we say, the difference between the first four books to the last Mishra Taita. Mishra Taita says, he says, me, piat me, he said it by himself. What do you mean? He said it by himself. And Mesha, Mesha made up himself. Right. But we explain that there's a difference. The way he, the way it, it went through his mind, the way it went through his consciousness, was different than the way it was in the first four four, four yeah, books. Can't, can't that can happen to any person? Can't the words of Hashem come to anybody? It could, but the question is depending upon what the, the point in time it for could. that person. Anybody. It's but, but it could. But usually, but but the, 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 this that the person should have. That that it, that that it should be Hashem should decide to rest in that person. There must be a, a reason. Right. It has to be a reason. Right. All the time, for sure. No, that's all. Emotion is an interesting thing. Exceptional person. I'm not talking about emotion. Interesting. A lot of times. about everyday people. A lot of times by the Rebbe, sometimes they they would they 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 didn't even, they they told they 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 like they didn't even hear that afterwards that somebody said this is what you said. Ah, this is what I said. So then we have to we have to do what he said. So the Fidik Rebbe, I just heard now. I think I heard from maybe my Mirazah's father, because he heard from his, uh, his grandfather. So when Fidik Rebbe was in, uh, in Russia, and Purim Tafresh Pezayim, in 1927, and right before he was arrested, because of spreading Judaism. So Purim, he drank, drank a lot, a lot, and he was speaking very strong against the communists. And he said that anyone is not gonna, that, that, that that anyone is not going to send out uh, send their kids to, to who's going to send their kids to the communist schools and 
and and they're 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 nakra nakra live through the year, and he says. You should, you, you should live through the year. I can live through the year, and she should spread this all around Russia. She should tell Whoa. everyone about this. Whoa. And they didn't. They didn't tell everyone about it because they were. I'm saying they're they going to go afraid. tell everyone. I'm afraid. Sure. They didn't tell. And afterwards, later, a while, like I'm saying, a while later, something they they they, they, they told them that this is this is uh, this is what you said. So this is what I said. So, so if this is what I said. Well, now I understand why why you're having why you're suffering now because because you didn't listen you didn't spread it all around <laughs> this is the reason for this was going around this is, this is the problem. So why he himself is suffering? He did, he not himself. I'm saying that this is why why there's so much uh, certain certain oh. suffering. I don't know what that meant. Whatever yeah. that means, but which means he saying what he said. He didn't he didn't hear himself ever even saying. It. Doesn't even remember. Is, is, is this is this um, uh, perhaps you know now he's like. A dibuk possessing a person and the person not knowing. A dibuk is different. A dibuk is a different I thing. Oh, that means the whole thing. Uh, like something like that. This is poorer yeah, when the rabbi was shikker. No, like, <laughs> a a dibuk explains. A dibuk. This is like. A dibuk is if somebody's not supposed to be there. It's the wrong place. A dibuk is is something in the wrong place. But it takes possession of a person. The person. Right. Yeah, but but this is this is this is different. This is. This is something in the right place. I'm just trying to yeah. understand. Yeah, the I'm saying. That, uh, he did not they, have, uh, they have possession. They have possession. Um, <laughs> they also, by the Rebbe, also put on Tavshin Chai. The Rebbe also didn't, uh, was also drank. He, he had these, and the house, you have the Zexa Nysik in 96, have wow. from like these uh, like glasses, like one after another. And he said, a mimer, he said everything. Afterwards, he said, he asked the uh, Yorkan and the Vrem Shem to come and to tell him, to tell him Chazada, to tell him what he said. You know, he, he, really? he put on his hat and everything, and made him want to listen to it very seriously. Also, there's also um, Nachman Sig, uh, Nachum Siegel, yeah? That's the guy in the radio. Nachum Siegel made us. His father, they have on the, the gem, he said he came to... So, there's a story that Sharon, Sharon, Sharon uh, his father, his father's not alive already, I forgot his name. And his his father was in uh, so basically before so his father came to visit the Rebbe, and beforehand Sharon like a while before Sharon was by the Rebbe, before I'm saying this when he was a general right after whatever, and he uh, and, and the Rebbe told him he, he he it was right before his flight and he was needed to go to his flight, and the Rebbe said stay stay don't uh, I'm saying you could take another flight you don't have to go on this flight, something happened and what the happened flight. was the flight yeah. was hijacked. Uh, I remember yeah, yeah. that story. Yeah, I heard the story. Yeah, yeah. So they were after him. So he came. He, yeah. he came to them and he asked the Rebbe. Wow. Um, the miracle. So if you, if you know that this is, is it true? Is it true that you told him not to go? So he says, Yeah, I'm saying yeah. He so delayed he says, them. So he how come them. he didn't stop he the whole delayed. thing? He says, I didn't know that that uh, they're gonna hide you. I knew that I, I, that I was supposed to tell him not to go. That was the point. That was his point. There's a whole video so, on this. The, the same thing, but the Rebbe said it's a very important story from the Friedrich Rebbe that there was a sir, I think it could have been from the Stock family, if I'm not mistaken, the Crown Heights, that one of the boys, he was, this is, he goes back years ago in the, in the 40s or whatever, that he wanted to go to Israel on a boat, which I think was the Altalena. So the Friedrich Rebbe said, I think he said, now you shouldn't go to Eretz Yisrael. I'm not against you. God itself, but on this thing, this don't go. This. And then I may be conflating two stories, but what happened was, is a lot of people died. Uh, you know, that, or it was another boat. It was sunk. So they asked this question, and and, and yeah, said, yeah. "Just tell me, and this person to tell him no." They didn't say the whole. And story. the rabbi in the video, the rabbi said, "This is very important. This story from the Yid who told it or whatever. It has to be with or something." Yeah. That's, I, on the, I only know from the video, you know. He brings a special. No, he brings, he brings a special toy from the market that Spitzer Dick know that almost like what could happen, what's going to happen, but they don't say it because you know Hashem doesn't want to say it, but somehow they can find a way to try to say something, not directly, but indirectly to try to. That's very Sometimes an answer. We don't know. We can't really. Uh, it says Ili Yadaitiv Yisiv. If I would know, if I would be able to understand them, then I would be. Then I would be them, right? <laughs> yeah. we, we can only speculate from that. We we don't really understand these things. So. Yeah. I, I remember as a kid before Yom Kippur War, right? Everything is quiet in Atlas. So I was on the watch and I said, I want all the children to come to the Kotel and Daven. What? 
like two weeks before Yom Kippur, all the children coming out for the God. Everybody's like, what happened? Everything is normal. Everything is they understand. Then they have. Yeah. So they have. Like they have. Like they know. They know. They don't. They know. They know. They know. They know. Before Yom Kippur War. They know what's going to be. We don't know. Two weeks before That's Israel I mean, went to Bangladesh. Just a fact. It's just the many stories. Why? Two weeks it's before. Uh, two, two weeks before Israel went to bomb Er Er Chagashavot, the atom bomb, right? From Iraq. From Iraq. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Two yeah. weeks yeah. before. Yeah. They know what, right? Yeah. So the Rebbe saw somebody, I'm giving you uh, like 10 or 15 dollars, right? I want you to give it in his in to sell um, Where in Israel army? What? He didn't understand. All of a sudden, you know, there's so many different places. So you get there to sell, you tell a guy, I have a, I have a, a job from the Rapture to give these dollars to the, this. the guy says, Today I'm going to the Korea. Korea is a Tel Aviv. There's a meeting in the Korea, meaning the the head of the this it's like meeting. the Pentagon. The Pentagon, right, right, right. meeting. Yeah. Right, right. So you come into the meeting. So the guy said, "How do you walk in? The most secret meeting right now." He said, "I didn't walk in. The Rav Cherubi told me to give to each one of you a dollar." Wow. They took the dollars and step outside, and they understand why it was so important, right? On Friday, they flew to Paris and Iraq. Who is the people that's saying, or the pilot was saying, yeah, like, wow. each one of them got a job. Wow. So the guy that got the first one doesn't understand, wow. the guy that's the second one. They don't want to understand what they have done yeah, for. He's successful. No, but I'm saying, certain things you, you do, yeah. so they can okay. know. Who no. knows if the rapper knew exactly what he was going to do, okay. but he knew yeah. something. Yeah, exactly. something. So let's, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go further a little bit. Yeah. We went from Moshe Rabbein all the way to the Levin. Yeah. It's a special explanation called Dara Vadara. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Dalit. Bechtheus will come and sign that in him and will name it a behemoth, was Ruach Abbey made Edison Lamato, and in order to bring calls that take an animal and lift it up to higher, hey, Bechtheus will need Lamato, the opposite of its nature of going down. Right, an animal wants to go down into the world, wants to deal with with with, uh, with his desires, with physical things. It doesn't want to become higher, something it doesn't want to be elevated. Fear in this case when not in other attacking, when during that make another million first in the in the person, and then afterwards even go higher to become part of spiritual worlds, the spiritual person. But thus, it's got a right to Vegas a long way. And actually, a while like him is a basic book and called the Rachmanes to come. It's very hard. But David is a mazot a mazot can and during the vag in order to be able to go through this way, how to tell you. And the Gegeben Sveis Saman, the Torah gave us two signs in order to get there. And the Gegeben Sveis Saman, the Torah gave us two signs in order to get there. If he's doing the way he's supposed to do, if he's doing God the way he's supposed to do. The point is for us to know... Are we kosher? Are we doing what we're supposed to do? Are we elevating the behavior? Are we elevating the animal? What does that mean? Which means, we're going to say we're going to say what these two things are, that when we are elevating the animal, right, that's the idea of eating. Right. How do we know we're eating kosher? Which means spiritually. How do we know we're eating doing the tikkun olam? How do we know we're lifting it up, doing properly? Or maybe, yeah. maybe we're maybe we're just doing it like he's gonna explain. We're just doing because this is our nature. This is not we're eating because it's it's kashmak, not because not for the right reasons. Shabbat, you have a mitzvah to eat uh, extra food and good food, right? Yeah. So you're eating it because of the mitzvah and you're enjoying it, or you're enjoying it because it's just. A good job. It tastes good. Well, Eretz Yom Kippur, you, you, you yeah, have to. That's to that's what he's trying to say here. Right. No Eretz Yom Kippur. It's, it's like a mitzvah that. to eat. As right. You, you have to have a mind eating the same mitzvah. It's not a mitzvah, just like not, not just to, to enjoy it. Right. Right. So we have so and everything in the world doesn't only mean saying food. It's just it's just an example. I'm saying everything in the world which a person does, whatever the person, whatever level a person's holding. These are two things. To, whatever service a person's doing, two things to make sure that you know that you're doing it kosher. Right. Which of the two say? And we're going to say now. Oh. We're going to say very soon. See, see, is a is a masasik and the dvarim gashim and demsin and chadash and You're dealing with worldly matters, world, worldly things for Hashem. But then we'll pale that in zeh and aliyah of skalz canal. If you're doing it for Hashem for proper reasons, then you elevate it. Asher teichlu, then you're eating it properly. See, at totos nitvi medak. You're not doing it the way you're supposed to. At totos lid la veda savai nemes ativius or the gilus. He does it because this this is natural. This is comfortable for him. But then we'll pale that niter. And in them, Kena Allah is not elevating in a fracarit as them, or something which you should keep away from. So, so he says that uh, in the Torah, he brings from the beginning of the Torah, he says that in the Torah, he brings from the beginning of the Torah, he says that in the Torah, he brings from the beginning of the Torah, he says that in the Torah, he brings from the beginning of two things. One thing was, was uh, doing something of, 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 uh, of kindness, another thing was doing something of severity. 
two opposite things. When he had done it with himself, and through them, he had a gewusst that he didn't have to have it with the other one. But he had to have it with the other one. But he did both of them with the same energy. So if, if he was doing, doing it because of his nature, so usually a person is either a kind person or a person more a strict person. So he doesn't do both of them with the same energy. He does one with more energy than the other one. Since he did both of them with the same energy, it shows that he wasn't doing it because this is nature, he was doing it because this is what Hashem wants. So the person can give a lot of stock, because this is, this is the, he's a nice person, naturally. A person can sit and learn because he enjoys learning. How, how do we know that they're doing it for, for Hashem? It could be just doing because this is comfortable in and this, this is in nature. Only if he do, it does both things, and it does both things with the same energy and everything. So we see over here, he's not doing because his nature, doing because of Hashem. Yeah. Oh, very good, very good. We're going to say that right now. You, you're a prophet. We're going to say that very soon. And he did it with Yeah, yeah. We in Sifri. Fear and love are two opposites. They can't design to them. They can't be together. Only when serving God, you can have both of them. Because you're doing both of them for Hashem, so that's how you could put them together. And then, because I made the Midas Hazam, they both be together. And like you just said, that's his Eich, was a state by Avraham Avinu, Mashas, and saying, Akeda Dafke. It says by Avraham Avinu, the time of the, the, the by the Akeda, when they asked Hashem, when he, Hashem asked him to shech the son, and now I know that you really fear God. Because all the earlier challenges were all in one in one way, and it could be that that's his nature. Kavi Amin was all in. In, in, in the right, in the right, meaning of kindness. How can the can't be since he doesn't miss out, he doesn't miss out, and maybe it's because this is a nature. Shaz, the Kruman then is saying, as it's going to meet Yitzchak into the Rakeda, when he came to, to this challenge to take Yitzchak into Shecht, and Bizrat, Gewalt, Tom, Vasarat, Gewalt, and he actually wanted to do it, but does it, Dach Mitzad, Kava Gvur, that comes from severity, and Gvura, is Ati Daiti, now I know Kirel Kimat, and I know that you're truly a God fearing. I know now all the, further, the earlier challenges, they were also because of what God wants us. Right. Now, now it show, you show it to everyone. It says in the Medes, it says, uh, don't, you say, uh, it says, it says, please, please uh, take your son. Why, why is Hashem asking please? Because everyone else, everyone's saying, why is, why is uh, why Hashem love Avram so special? Why, why, so he says, stand, overcome this last, this challenge, people that people mean. shouldn't say, that there's nothing to the first ones, that there's nothing to them. People shouldn't say, the world should, the world should, now should see that you're, you're here for real, and they're going to stand why the Jewish people are special, why Abraham is special. Vav, das is, das is der Simen from my friend. Sorry, do we see that, is that an actual communication from God to Abraham? Yeah, it says, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it actually brings it on the, on the it's from the... So, does that make a, can that make a difference in how Abraham is going to see if this is for real or not for real? Oh, right, there's a whole sikh that Rebbe has, has discussed this discussion. And uh, and and uh, the Rebbe asks this question which you're asking. Oh. In Parashat Vayera, he says, uh, the Rebbe asks, what do you mean? How can we say that 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 that's so special that he overcame this? If God Himself will come to you and ask you a favor, I I, I want you to do this for me. You go, yeah. you know? Everybody will do it. Yeah. So this is a fine. Vav. This is the sign. This is the idea of the sign of a split. Of, of a split hoop. When you're only doing it one side, Kyuma the Chad Samcha is Kanzain as us as Mitzad Tevrigil. That could be you're doing it just because this is your nature. A simile for a behemoth eater, what's it? How do we know it's a kosher animal? A fresh is piracy if it's totally split, as is the Spolten, it's split. And gate the rechsel links, and now you have a right side and you have a left side. It's not just one hoop. Not only that, because some of the splits have a thin, some animals have a thin skin. Between the hooks, uh -huh. and it's not, it's, it's not kosher. That's that means it's not legal. Oh, that's what we're gonna say right now. Right. On gate, the left on the links, the bait is item. At gate, the race is an entire regulus. It goes out of his nature. On tutti shlichus from the madam alien, where we mishik them, he does what Hashem wants. The shlichus of Hashem. The din in Mafresa Paris is like you just said. The, what's the, the 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 law is when a split hoof as a dark sign. So spot from even from on top and all the way to the bottom, totally through. I admit this that not came by material. It's not a, 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 a kosher animal. That's what's a tut in bay the cabin that design need not be seen What does that mean? A person could do many things as long as he himself is not emotionally involved in it. It's just uh, a root. So okay, so that's not a big deal to do a few things. 
So that, that, so that doesn't show that you're in it for real. Because you're just doing it, it's, not, it's easy. But what we mean is that so not just on the outside it's split. It has to be inside also split. Totally through you have to have both. Which means you have to be totally involved in, with your insides, with your kishkes and both things. Ayyub does not actually say it's only superficial. But in, in inside, he's only really he remains in one in, in one way. His leseichu is still not kosher. You're not able to elevate really the thing because you're still doing because it's your nature. As darvzayin sugishvolt and beptimius and eichu pale has to be totally split and also actually durch and durch totally through and through. But stemot is seichu, then you can eat it. Or pale is kalos vizarkum. So then, so then, basically, back until he becomes the cleave of God, he's able to elevate it. What's the reason why they, they say that people should not eat meat? Imaraz. Imaraz right? shouldn't eat meat, yeah. Yeah. This is because of the level of yeah. knocking up the elephant. Yeah. Because it's That's so much. It's up. Yeah. It's already uh, yeah. almost mighty. It's a. Uh, Instead of ten elevated bay, the bay will take him down. Right. Bring you down. By Rabbi the says, they're asking question. He did not answer. So one second, he go home, make steak, he ate it, he came back, he said, dancers. Yeah. How come? Yeah. You. You. That's called using a fresh ham. From that's where I'm about to. That time at the gash. Now let's go to the second sign. Second was chewing the cut. Since we have to deal with gash, we're Coarseness with with chumrinus with grabkeit, and I feel b'shaz as that as 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 parnfresa parsa. Although you already see that you're you're doing both things and you're energetic in both things, harder need for a lot of zich You can't still rely on yourself. And as Daiv said, oich the sima miles again. You have to chew your cud, which means ibrakain. You have to chew it over. Beid zich. You have to check yourself. Mavada zain nachumal and vidar mal. Check yourself again and again and again. Your every person has to continuously checking up on himself to make sure. That they're, that they're doing it just for Hashem. That's what it means, chewing your cud, right? They chew it up a few times. Twice. But some, uh, there's some, some of them do it a few, few times, no? The yeah. Yirah from them, from them, in our Veda Bapayl, the, what, what's the lesson for us in, that, in our day-to-day life? We can do the upline of Lamati, from Lamati, from Lamati, from Lamati. As a baby, Bishas, we get Essen from the Behem and Darkman, Tach Zen, see them, the Hati Simani Tara, if need Tarman, if need Essen, someone comes to eat. Eat uh, uh, animal. He has to see if it's kosher or not. He has to see if it has the signs or not. If it doesn't have the signs, he can't eat it. So to everything in the world. Before you do it, we have to check the signs. Not just doing it for himself, for his own desires. And I feel by him even though it looks like he's doing it for the right reason. He has to do it again. Think it over it again and again. Oh, Somebody said when you get have guests in your house, you bring bread, uh, you bring them to eat. First thing, what you should do, my first pass up, cut out the bread, give the guests. Then I, then I get it. Then you can eat again. <laughs>